Knock this in. 31 pickup right here. Smart, smart. Don't think about our offense. Guard for me, all right? Here we go. One, two, three. Yeah. Inside Notre Dame basketball with Mike Bray is presented by TireRack.com and brought to you by Team Notre Dame members Gatorade, Under Armour, Coke Zero, and Sprint. Inside Notre Dame basketball is also sponsored by ATI Physical Therapy, Bank of America, CBTS, Xfinity, Meyer, Notre Dame Federal Credit Union, Sirius XM Satellite Radio, and UPS. Back to the bed with a W. Back yes, to the bed with a W. Now, let's take that. Yeah. Good job, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Once we got Jay out of there, huh? <laughs> and what a great win. What a great win. What, what another step for this team in this atmosphere. And, um, you know, they gave us <coughs> punches. And throughout the game, we just came back out, executed offensively, and made really big plays. And I just, I just love our toughness, man, on the road. Mike Bray, the head coach of the 12th ranked Fighting Irish in the locker room after his team's huge victory on the road against 17th ranked North Carolina. Hello again Irish fans and welcome to this week's edition of Inside Notre Dame Basketball. I'm Jack Nolan. He's the 15 year head coach of the Notre Dame men's basketball team and coach what a big win this was for your team and for your program. No question about it Jack on both fronts it gets you to 3-0 and in the league to beat one of the programs in the ACC North Carolina and we've never won in Chapel Hill, so a lot to build off of. And certainly we don't want to forget the fact that the North Carolina victory is so important, in part because of the double overtime victory that preceded it against Georgia Tech. What we did in a short period of time, going double overtime against Georgia Tech in a gutted out gritty win, get our energy back and win on the road, I'm really proud of our group. And we'll show you all the highlights of that double overtime win over the Yellow Jackets right after this timeout. This is Bob. Bob's on a first date, so he's not thinking about where to buy his next set of tires. But if he were, all he'd need to know is TireRack.com. They stock over a million tires and can have yours shipped to a trusted, independent, recommended installer in as little as one business day. But Bob's not thinking about tires. Bob's thinking, should I tell her about that thing in her teeth? TireRack.com. Find, deliver, install. The Super Bowl. It's one game for all the glory. And Xfinity from Comcast is giving you a seat at every one ever played. Xfinity brings you 30 minute recaps of every Super Bowl on demand. Plus, over 100 hours of coverage the week of Super Bowl 49 on NFL Network. Get NFL Network when you sign up for an Xfinity X1 triple play for $89 a month for a year. And add the sports entertainment package for $4.99 more a month for a year. Call 1 800 Xfinity or go online today. Sweat. It says I was here. I worked here. It says I only have so much to give before I have to take. What I lose, I want to get back. Sweat says I earn this. Gatorade, created to help replace what you sweat out. Coach, for the most part, your offense has been a joy to watch this season, but that wasn't the case in the early moments of the Georgia Tech game. No question. Georgia Tech gets out of the gate great offensively. They're feeling good, and they're hard to play against. you got to give them a lot of credit. I think they're an excellent defensive team, so it was one of those dogfight ACC games. I talked to our team all week to get ready and embrace hard games. We're going to be in hard games now. Early penetration by Demetrius, and he finds Zach on a drop off again Demetrius's guard decisions have been excellent. We turned it over a bunch in the first half which hurt us. They get out in transition <clears throat> knock down a three in transition there. They start shooting the ball early maybe better than they ever have. This is a really good play by Zach calm finds Pat over there Pat lines it up sticks a three point shot. Zach August has become a better playmaker 
out of the post making good decisions about Jaron Grant finding Austin Torres, waiting on the ball screen roll and getting that thing in there. We go zone a little bit right here and it helps us because we get a leak out in transition. Really good by Berg. He came in and gave us good minutes. Nice touch pass by Jaron Grant for the finish. We're dying for baskets right now. Demetrius Jackson on this drive, powerful and just kind of wills a bucket for us because it was hard to score against the Georgia Tech defense. Great move off the ball screen. I love Demetrius' presence of mind there. That's just a power play uh, in the second half to kind of get us going a little bit. And it got our crowd into it. I thought that play got our crowd going. Uh, we get an offense, we get a rebound here. D's out in transition. Look at Torres run the floor. It kind of vacuums things. And just a nice early pro by Demetrius. He is finishing around the bucket very well this year. Penetration by Pat. Steve with a circus shot. And that's another bucket we were dying for. But Steve with a great powerful cut. Oh, I don't know if I've ever seen anything like this. Somehow, I think he got his foot off this defender and got up a little bit higher. Well, what a finish. Pat on a back cut and a dunk. And we're starting to find a little bit of an offensive rhythm now in the second half. Steve reads a backdoor cut. What a play by Steve Vastoria. What a second half by Steve Vastoria. Goes the length of the court and scores it. Steve started driving the ball. Big play here. Big play by Jaron to just drive it, take the hit, and a three-point play. We finally got the lead. This is a big one, though. We give up a big three-point shot right there, and we're not going to get out of this thing easy. It is an ACC dogfight. Great defense there. We come back in and get it to, to force uh, uh, overtime. And we get off to a great start, Jack, in overtime. Demetrius with a three-point shot. Jaron Grant with a steal right here of an entry pass. And you're thinking like, okay, maybe we can run away with this in overtime. But Tech battles right back. Another good drive here and a kick. And we've got this thing, you know, all of a sudden we got this thing to six. But George's Hunt is a powerful guy. That's a big, strong bucket right there. <clears throat> Still up to another big time move, and they're on the backboard. They got to the offensive board against us. Pretty good play. We'll take this. We get the drive, we get the tip to win it. Can't get either, but I love how our group just got right on to the next overtime, didn't hang our head, and just figured, hey, overtime is our time. Big move by Zach August, first bucket of the uh, overtime. Pat Connaughton, a little set for him. He had missed some free throws. He lines up a three and kind of says, nope. And here now he drives it. After hitting the jump shot, they play him for the shot. He drives it. He just kind of takes over there in that little segment. Nice cut on an out of bounds under. Great read by Steve Astoria. Zach with a bucket right there. And we're really playing pretty well here in the overtime. And I just loved our confidence and our defense in the overtime to give us a chance to win a game. Just a great league win. We didn't play well, it wasn't smooth, but we got a league win. The final stats show the Irish countered the efforts of the second best offensive rebounding team in the ACC with another outstanding shooting performance that included making three of their four three-pointers in the game's two overtimes. Five Irish players scored in double figures led by Jaron Grant's 24 points and six assists. Why are you so good in overtime as a team? You know, Jack, I think we've had, um, you know, we have had really good guards. you got to have good guards. And you think back, Grant's been here for a great run of overtime. Connaughton's been here for a great run of overtime. But I think it's your guards setting the tone. And now it's almost a frame of mind. Like, we just believe, we have a phrase, overtime is our time, and I'd love to see us deliver in it. As we go to break, here's a look at what Coach Bray had to say to his team after the double overtime victory over Georgia Tech. We scratched and clawed, really defended, got some big defensive rebounds, and we really executed when we needed to. We did a hell of a job executing. Any <coughs> win you get in league play is a great win. That was a dogfight, great win. We're better for it to be in that because we're probably going to be in one of those Monday. across America are taking advantage of Sprint's Cut Your Bill in Half event. What's that in your hand? Um, my AT&T bill. 
And I have Verizon bill. What's the monthly rate? 85. About 160. What if Sprint could cut your rate plan in half? Uh, I would love to cut that in half. And give you unlimited talk and text in the US and match your data. That's incredible. Bring in your Verizon or AT&T bill, turn in your old phone, and we'll cut your rate plan in half. Visit us online or visit a Sprint store today. This is Pete. Pete is helping his aunt move, so he's not thinking about tires right now. But if he were, all he'd need to know is TireRack.com. They post their own test results and user reviews so he could get the right tires for his car in as little as one business day. But Pete's not thinking about tires. Pete's thinking it would have been nice if his aunt had mentioned the minor bird. TireRack.com. Find, deliver, install. Against Georgia Tech, you face the second best offensive rebounding team in the ACC. In North Carolina, you face the best offensive rebounding team in the ACC and the third best in the country. You know, we knew we were going to have to absorb some putbacks. And they got 21 against us, and we still escaped. But they've got great size and great bulk on their front line. But what helped us, Jack, we got off to a great start. When you get off to a great start on the road, it gives you confidence. Nice drive by Pat to find uh, Zach and our offense was flowing early. How about this little fade screen read by Jaron? Two seniors just playing basketball at a high level intelligence wise. Pretty good block out right here. We get it and we're off in some early offense. When we were able to rebound, we were able to get some stuff in transition. What a great cut by Demetrius right there for a three point play early in the game. Great read by Jaron Grant. Ball screen here for, uh, for uh, uh, Jay and Zach on the roll you know that has been a hookup that we've had all year Pat with a nice probe and find right there VJ that's a great play by VJ and look at him run to a shooting spot VJ Beecham was huge off the bench for us and he is really playing well at the right time penetration we kick it to the other side we're feeling good we're breaking the defense down and we're getting some great looks how about that pass and VJ spots up and fires that thing great read a little early movement for us here. We go ball screen. He refuses it and one of those other highlights where he can go baseline and throw it down hard. They get they they uh, deflected here and they're starting to make a little run now. What was great though we answered just about every one run Jack. You know we were up six or seven. Here comes a run to cut it to one. We answered pretty darn well. Great field by Demetrius right there. We're off in transition. Really good early offense. Steve with a nice drive. Demetrius with a good transition decision on the road. Again, ball screen. We find that guy off the bench. Great pass by Jaron. Uh, and, and there is uh, Demetrius knocking down a three point shot. We run a little set here where we pop Pat out. Great execution. Pat steps up and knocks it down. Ball screen. We get good spacing. Jaron all the way. We tried to talk to him, Jack, about going all the way more. He doesn't have to give it up all the time. Get on in there and get fouled. Another good read. Extra pass to VJ Beecham up top. Great pass by D. We knock it down. We're feeling good. We're feeling pretty good. Great hands defensively here, and we're off in transition. Really good decision by Demetrius. Great finish by Zach. Again, up nine, feeling good offensively. Entry here for us. Pat rocks a guy back just like he did against Georgia Tech out of that set. That's become a pretty good look for him. How about this read right here by Jaron Grant. He finds Steve. Steve knocks it down. Our spacing was excellent throughout the night. Free throw block out. We can't quite get it. Carolina comes back with it. And this kind of starts a little bit of a run for them. You know, it's a scrambled situation. We're not able to get a block out. And now they're feeling pretty good and we're going to have to scratch and claw because we couldn't score really the, the, uh, the end of the game. Nice read off the ball screen right there by Demetrius. Marcus Page starts to take over a little bit. He's a heck of a guard. Nice drive there. We lose him here. We were really aware of him from the three point line. Probably other than this possession we did a heck of a job. But now it's a two point game. And we're in a dogfight. And you know what? You expect a dogfight against a good team in their building. Real good help right there and a big defensive rebound. Problem is, that's Jaron Grant's fifth foul. So now, more adversity. We're not scoring. We got to finish the game without number 22. But man, do we do it like men. Nice probe by Pat. 
He gets it up. How about this towering offensive rebound? Two hands above everybody and a big time finish to give us the lead. Zach August was fabulous in the second half. And I loved our awareness on Page there to defend that last shot. Just a great win for our team and our program at North Carolina. The final stats show Notre Dame hit 10 threes against the best three-point field goal defense in the ACC, but just as important, the Irish held the Tar Heels to under 37% from the floor and tied a season high with seven block shots. Winning in the Smith Center is such a powerful win for your program. Very powerful, and you know, everyone talks about our offense, Jack. I don't think our defense gets enough credit. We didn't score much the last 10 minutes of the game, but we were able to rely on our defense defense to win a game and we've done that a couple times this year it's a trait that I'm very proud of you're being asked a lot about giving up offensive rebounds but there's another step to that you're not giving up that many second chance points in relation to the number of offensive rebounds you're giving up which means your guys keep battling even when they don't get the board there's no question I mean I think you know given the, that we play small we're going to get beat there a little bit you know it just can it not devour you completely? We've escaped a couple games, given up major offensive rebounds. I hope we block out better against Virginia, though. When we come back, we'll show you what the Irish players had to say when they returned to campus after their victory over the 17th ranked Tar Heels. The winning hoop accounted for just two of Zach August's game high, 18 points in Notre Dame's victory over North Carolina. As you were about to see, the next day, the junior from Massachusetts was still energized by Notre Dame's first ever win in Chapel Hill. Oh, man, it was great. You know, it was so much fun. Uh, the gym was energetic, man. Uh, we had a great team win. Uh, everybody came out so fire and passion. It just means so much um, to just see our hard work pay off um, all off season, all the things we worked on um, coming into play now. You know, we've never won there, you know, to start. ACC 3-0 is a big time. You know, we started the game off really well, and uh, to finally come out with a win like that, it means a lot, especially, you know, coming with Virginia coming on Saturday. You know, we showed the locker room at the beginning of the show after the Carolina win. Excited, but not over the top. You know, this group has really handled success very well. Even at the end of the, uh, the North Carolina locker room situation, we started talking about Virginia, and there was a real seriousness and focus about what's coming on Saturday. As big as the win over the Tar Heels was for the Irish program, this week's ATI Physical Therapy Player of the Week comes from the Georgia Tech game. Jaron Grant's spectacular dunk against the Yellow Jackets that topped ESPN Sports Center's top 10 plays of the day for January 3rd. Vastoria will inbound to the right of the Georgia Tech hoop to our left. Comes on into Grant. He goes all the way to the hoop and he fires the retro rockets. He was chest high on the basket as he jammed it home, and it's 46-44, and he gets fouled. Oh, my goodness. Is there a trampoline there? How did he get that high? I just seen the rim, I seen the lane, and I took off, and I guess he boosted me up, and I slammed it. Before earning enough cash back from Bank of America to help pay for her kids' ice time, before earning 1% cash back, Everywhere, every time. Close the front door! And 2% back at the grocery store. Even before she got 3% back on gas, all with no hoops to jump through. Katie used her Bank AmeriCard Cash Rewards credit card to stay warm and toasty during the heat of competition. That's the comfort of rewarding connections. Apply online or at a Bank of America near you. Gunderman Group. Gunnerman Group is growing. Getting in a groove. Growth is gratifying. The goal is to grow. Gotta get greater growth. I just talked to UPS. They've got expert advice, special discounts, new technologies, like smart pickups. They'll only show up when you print a label, and it's automatic. We save time and money. Time? Money? Time and money. Awesome. 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 I love logistics. It's time now for this week's Ask Coach Bray question presented by CBTS. This week's question comes from Ruth Bubba of Warren, Ohio. Coach, I noticed during a timeout towards the end of the UNC game, you were laughing while talking to your team. I thought that was great. Do you remember what you were saying? <laughs> it's a good question. You know, I try to keep us loose, and what we were actually talking about was we we're in game situations, and how many times have we done this game situation? But I think if they see me loose a little bit, it keeps them loose. If you would like to 
Ask Coach Bray a question. All you have to do is log on to UND.com and click on Ask Coach Bray in the rotating boxes in the middle of the main page. You have not seen a lot of Bonzi Colson on the floor in recent weeks, but he has been one of the loudest voices on the team during timeouts and one of the top performers every day in practice. And these efforts have earned Colson his first shot at running the inside Notre Dame basketball fast break. Favorite all-time movie? Space Jam. First car you ever drove? Ford Taurus. Get up early or sleep in? Sleep in. Do you have a celebrity crush? Beyonce. Favorite musical group or artist? Kanye West. Who is your role model? My father. One thing the public would be surprised to learn about you? I'm scared of heights. Favorite NBA player? Kevin Durant. Favorite snack food? Snickers. Favorite part of practice? Free throws. Worst part of practice? Free throws. Which is better, knocking down a long three or sending home a spectacular dunk? Sending home a spectacular dunk. Favorite part of your trip to Italy? Developing uh, chemistry with my teammates and uh, coaches. Under Armour gear. Love it. Best defender on the team? Demetrius. Best leaper on the team? Torres. Best dunker on the team? VJ. Worst dunker on the team? Steve. Best dresser on the team? Me. Worst dresser on the team? Steve. Best singer on the team? Me. Worst singer on the team? Matt. Best comedian on the team? Zach. Free throw contest. Who wins, you or Coach Bray? Me. No hesitation there at all. No hesitation. That young man has a very bright future for us. He continues to get better. We've gotten him in better shape. Um, and this, this season's not over yet. Stay tuned. Virginia won both the ACC regular season and tournament titles last season and right now is ranked third in the country with a 14-0 record. We'll talk with Coach about Saturday's matchup right after this timeout. What's so different about shopping at Meyer? Well, there's 80 years of family commitment to better, fresher foods, an amazing selection of products and brands, knowing that shopping for your family costs less at Meyer, and a whole different kind of experience that generations of shoppers will swear begins the moment you step inside the door. Come see for yourself. financial institution is behind many of the milestones in your life. Pick one that sees you as more than just an account number. Own your dreams. Join a credit union today. You are not only facing one of the best defensive teams in the country in Virginia, you're also facing the one team in the ACC that you really didn't compete with last year. We had no answers for them last year, Jack, and uh, they thoroughly beat us twice, and they're still old and they're still tough and they're still physical and they're still really well coached and they're confident. They're going to grind you offensively. It's going to be a slower game. They don't want to play with a whole lot of possessions and they're going to physically defend you. They're going to jam it in. You're going to have to make some shots over the top of their jammed in defense. But what a great matchup this is because they've now popularized the term pack line defense. It is packing it in, but you spread people out. If they don't spread out, you're going to shoot over them. There is. I mean, you know, the, the lineup we play is a lineup that spaces the floor. And spacing and spreading people out is a key to our offense. So what wins is going to be very interesting. You know, so much has been made of, you know, their DRO. Our D is very important on Saturday evening. Folks, that will do it for this week's edition of Inside Notre Dame Basketball. We, of course, will have all the highlights of the Virginia game and the rematch with Georgia Tech that follows on next week's show. Until then, for Coach Bray, I'm Jack Nolan. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, go Irish. Inside Notre Dame Basketball with Mike Bray has been presented by TireRack.com and brought to you by Team Notre Dame members Gatorade, Under Armour, Coke Zero, and Sprint. Inside Notre Dame Basketball is also sponsored by ATI Physical Therapy, Bank of America, CBTS, Xfinity, Meyer, Notre Dame Federal Credit Union, Sirius XM Satellite Radio, and UPS.